Hey, want to learn how to do better sketching with profiles in Fusion 360? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck, thanks for joining. We're doing some more sketching in the beginner series on Fusion 360. We're going to be covering profile. What are profiles? Why do you care? So when you're just getting started with Fusion, it's easy just to it's easy just to use that front plane. Always doing all your sketches there. Maybe you're using the origin like you should. You're putting things right at zero, 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 nailing it down. That's a good practice. But it's important that you understand how to use other planes and other faces. So let's get into it. Let's start by looking at a rectangular box. Now, should you do this one on the front, top, or right plane? Doesn't matter. You could do this profile on the front plane. On the top plane, on the top plane, you could simply sketch this rectangle and extrude it. And on the right plane, you could sketch this rectangle and extrude it. I'd probably go off the front plane, extrude it front or to the back. Let's take it a step further. So now once you've got this tab added to the rectangular block, Start a sketch on the top plane, maybe do a rectangle, extrude it up. Create an extrude, and now you still have to add more features to it. That was way too much work just because I wasn't paying attention to the profile. So let's delete that. So what should you do instead? I sketch on this face, this profile. I just sketch the, the actual shape I want to extrude from that face or plane and give it depth. Okay, another example. We've got this simple block. Most beginners that I've ever watched make something like this. They'll extrude the bottom foot or the, the bottom piece and then they'll start working at this angle. What is the easiest profile to draw? In this case, I would absolutely say this is the easiest profile to draw. Draw that in one sketch, extrude it back, you're done. So back to our original example, if you want to sketch, if you need to do some holes, some corner holes, then obviously I'd start on this top face. If another thing beginners bump into is, should you use a face or a plane to sketch on? And let's look at this example. I would start here, sketch the points where we need them. Then we create the hole. So where do you sketch then? You sketch on this top face. It may seem obvious, but I've seen beginners do this. What they'll do is they don't have a plane. They don't have a plane right here. So what they do is start creating a brand new plane from the existing planes. So one that's similar to this plane, they'll offset and create it at that face. No. You've got any faces that you have, those are also planes in theory that you can sketch on as well. So definitely use those. Okay, and one more example. If you needed a channel at the bottom of this plate, how would you do that? Again, I think it's just tempting to start a sketch, start cutting through, do it cutting the depth that you want and then starting a sketch on the other side. Again, no, it'd be easier if I just start on the bottom face and cut that channel out. We just start sketching that channel that we want, all in one easy sketch that's easy to update. Boom, we got it the channel. Thanks for watching. More videos to come on this beginner sketching series for Fusion. This one was kind of an easy one, but I've just taught so many beginners that struggle with this concept where they're creating extra planes when they don't need to, or they're doing a lot more sketches than they should just because they're not thinking where they should place it. And what's the easiest profile to visualize? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Check out the next video. Thanks.